Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface our MPU6050 gyroscope with that of our ESP32 microcontroller. So how we can do that is we are just doing the simulation. So we will go for our online simulator that is Vokfi online simulator. Now we need to click on VOGV and this online simulator used to provide us a lot of microcontrollers and nearly all sort of components. So we can scroll it down and click on ESP32. Now our window, both the circuit window and coding windows, encoding windows has been open. Now uh, we will uh, go and we will take our MPU6050. So this is our accelerometer and a gyroscope. Okay. Now you can see that there are a lot of pins, but we will just use VCC pin of our MPU6050. Okay, now we need to click on VN. Now we need to click on ground. We need to connect ground to ground, okay? And SCL2, D22, and SDA2, D21 pins, okay? So this is our simple, these are our simple connections. So now we will come towards our coding. Here we need to import certain libraries. So we will write hash include adafruit mpu6050.h. Okay, so this is our library, first library. Okay, then we will write adafruit underscore sensor dot h. And then we we will write Hash include Adolf root sensor dot i. So this is our second library. Okay. So we need to import our third one. That is the wire library. You are not supposed to go into the technicalities that why we are going to import these libraries. You just know that that these libraries will allow us to fetch certain functions. And what these functions will do, they will just, they will just extract certain, certain like uh, certain procedures. Okay. Like if you want to uh, get certain functions for certain uh, tasks. So we need this library. Okay. Because functions are the part of these libraries. So now in wired setup, we will initialize serial communication that is serial dot begin. Now, after this is done, okay, now remove this line. We can write while, while score serial. Okay, like uh, when, when there is serial, okay. Then we need, and this it it means that it is a sign of exclamation is actually uh, we can call it as inverter, okay? So if there is serial, we are not supposed to do this thing. If if this if if there isn't any sort of serial communication, then this while function will get activated, okay? While serial delay of twenty. We will add a simple delay. Then, okay, now this is done. Now we will go for if else condition, okay? So, first uh, we will write, okay, if, if m underscore p underscore u dot begin, okay, dot begin dot begin and this thing now what is this thing 
we have to add one more class that is called as add a fruit add a fruit underscore mpu 60 50 60 and 50 and here we will write mp underscore u okay now this is add a fruit underscore mpu 60 50 now this is the class and this m underscore p underscore u variable is actually the object of that particular class and why we are uh, going to declare an object of that particular class because we just want to fetch certain functions you will see that uh, i will fetch certain functions with the help of dot operator by using this object now we will go and we will write if mpu that if if this is if if this if this is begin dot begin means that it has started or it has been initialized okay then we will write then what we need to write we will write while one while one means it is infinite loop okay and delay of delay of 20 yes we can write delay of 20 now what is this until mpu dot begin do not use to initialized we have to wait okay it simply means we have to wait okay and if this is initialized then our control will go to the wide loop okay and one more thing that uh, you have to go to library manager we will import certain libraries that are at a fruit underscore okay what would they say data fruit data fruit underscore m okay wait uh, or we can just go for mpu 6050 we can click it out now it has been included okay now we can write at a fruit underscore sensor underscore sensor or, or we can just write sensor and we will get at least uh, at a fruit sensor okay okay simple sensor so we can write add a okay wait uh, add a fruit underscore sensor so okay so can we use any other library so add a fruit okay so it's a uh, wait wait we, we have to search for that library okay or wait let me let me go and here we will uh, search for library dot h so wait let me write wire y dot h okay okay so okay wait we have to look for wire okay so it is wire dot h all right let me see that either if, if we can run it out without these uh, libraries then it's okay maybe these are the uh, built-in part of this uh, work we simulator and i think that it is okay now our code is going to okay now we can see that this is these are the part of internal part of so so, so no need to import these out just one okay in delay we will write uh, now we have to add two lines okay why because we have to include certain now we will make certain objects sensors underscore 
event underscore t now this is one class this is one class and we we have to make certain objects that is acc gcc and temp okay simple acc is for acceleration this is for gyro and this is temperature now we will write m underscore p underscore u dot get even dot get even now this is dead get event is actually a function that belongs to m underscore p underscore u class okay now mpu under mpu dot get event okay and here we write and cc and a c c and g c c and temp and temp okay okay so okay so these three are the parameters these three are the parameters of get event function and get event function has been called by using m underscore p underscore u object or variable okay so now we, we can write serial dot print ln okay if we just want to take the acceleration on x-axis we can simply write acceleration on x axis okay acceleration on x axis okay then we can write serial dot print ln serial dot print ln acc dot acceleration dot x okay now this calls this and x actually belongs to this subclass that is acceleration so it will give us acceleration on x axis okay now we will run it out and one more thing that now we will because uh, yeah because it is uh, like online simulator so it, it can take a bit of it can take a bit of time while executing task okay now you can see that it is working a little bit okay g is 10 so so it is 17 okay g is 4 uh, like uh, from maybe it's multiplied that is 10 so that is why we are getting like uh, it is 20 okay so it is 2g and it is 19.61 so our value of acceleration is right okay now we will go for our rotation we will go for our rotation so 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 we will just write this and this so we will write gcc gcc is actually gyro uh, object for gyro gyro dot x okay now it will give us in radian okay so we have to multiply it with 180 divided by 3.14 maybe because uh, we, we we just want to convert it into the uh, what's called is the degrees okay so so this will give us in radians and then we will convert it into the degrees now okay wait wait wait, wait. i will just write rotation of x axis rotation of x axis okay so we can just write this thing and this and now we will see what uh, it used to tell us now now it is rotation and here we can write it is oh it, it is taking okay now we, we have to increase the delays because we just want 
our values to be displayed properly so now Yeah, it's work fees and online simulator so you can so you have to wait for a little bit more time for simulation to run now we can see that our rotation on x-axis and acceleration okay what happened to it we don't know we have to go for certain okay now Oh, what happened to it okay wait so we will go for our x and our our like okay it, it is taking still it is a very fast okay so we, we have now we have to go for one second at least okay one second delay of one second at least again run it out okay it is taking a little bit of more time now acceleration okay they said minus point six point six eight and there's point five no, it is it means that g, g is actually multiplier of 10 okay and here for rotation they said 115 and now you can see that we got our 115.05 degrees okay so hopefully you got the concept that how you can interface or interface the mpu 6050 accelerator accelerometer and gyroscope with that of esp32 so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.